Hey everyone, uh, today's actually a special day. I'm in Montreal and it's a food day. So excited to go and uh, go get some crepes. I'm gonna try to go to Brett's Cafe, or Berry's Cafe. Um, I've been wanting to get a really good crepe for the longest time. So I'm very excited to go and get my day started. After Brett's Cafe, I'm actually going, going, I'm actually going to go to Time Out Marquette, Moshe. Apparently, it's like a cafeteria-style place to eat, get some food. So, so on my way to actually Montreal, I was told that Montreal is actually has more restaurants per capita. I don't know if it's actually true because it said like they have more restaurants per capita than New York. So I never know if that's actually a true fact or not. I feel like it could be a lie, but I know Montreal has really good food. One of the biggest things Montreal is known for is for poutine. So later tonight, I'm actually going to Le Banqui to get a really good, authentic poutine. I had a bunch of poutine in Ottawa, but never had a poutine here in Montreal, so I'm very excited to go to. But from what I've been told, is that it's not poutine unless you get it here. I actually had some few arguments with some people. The people have been arguing with me that Montreal that poutine, they actually been arguing with me that poutine is a Quebec dish and not a Canadian dish. I think that's a bit absurd to be quite honest. I think poutine is a dish that can, that's best loved by everyone in Canada. But we're gonna see if it's actually true. So anyways, I'm walking towards Billy's Cafe. I'm actually going to McGill University campus right now. Hopefully I can get a shortcut through there. Man, that's a beautiful campus here. Let me show you guys what, how good this campus looks. Such a nice campus. It's a really nice campus around here. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but sure, I mean, it's actually a really nice campus. I debated about going to this school, this school, University of Toronto as well, but I decided to stay in Ottawa to do my uh, undergrad because I'm from Ottawa and also I didn't want to spend more money. But man, it's a gorgeous campus here. So we're actually staying right now at Le Jamais. Hotel in Montreal. It's actually a really nice hotel. I can't wait to show you guys what this hotel is actually like. Um, when I first stepped into my room, I was like, holy smoke. I'm in a really nice room. This is really nice and swanky. So, very excited to go and, uh, and get some crepe. Very excited to be in Ottawa, but wow, look, look at this campus. I guess university is open. So anyways, we're still walking towards the crepe and coffee place called Billy's Cafe. So I'll let you guys know. I'll see you guys once I'm closer to there, okay? Bye. So I'm like a couple of minutes away from the cafe. And wow, man, I gotta tell you, man, Montreal is actually a really lovely city, man. I'm walking around here and I'm, I'm kind of seeing why people say that Montreal is similar to Paris, France. And I gotta say, like, I think some people might be right. There's certain spots I'm looking at in Montreal, I was like, oh, this place is look really nice and swinky. So we're currently in uh, Boulevard Saint Laurent. So this great place, I was looking at the photos and the photos look fantastic. Some of the crepes look very unique. Some had a little crazy design. Ooh, there's a, there's a clothing store here I might, I might go check out. But yeah, this breakfast looks really good. So I'm very excited to go check out the check place. Lots of construction going on in Montreal.
definitely a very noisy city. Ooh, there's a couple of food spots here that, that I want to check out. Oh, there we go. We're right here. Brice Cafe. Oui, est-ce que je peux avoir uh, la crêpe flambée nature avec un grand marnier, s'il vous plaît? Et est-ce que je peux avoir un café, s'il vous plaît? Qu'est-ce que vous voulez comme café? Juste un café au lait. Café au lait? Oui. Une tasse ou un bol? Juste une tasse. Merci. C'est tout. Merci. Bon fun. So, I ended up going for the simple crepe. The portions look so big and I need to save myself for the time at Marche Marche, which is right beside my hotel. My way to get from here was 27 minute walk, so I'm definitely gonna burn off those calories or a bit of those calories, but I'm very excited to go, very excited to try and eat the food. Um, so I got my order, I got the crepe flambe, which is like this crepe and I think they put it in flames. How crazy is that? They put a crepe in flames and that looks to be very good, very delicious. And I also got myself a nice cup of coffee with milk, so cafe au lait. Um, I think it's very nice and simple. I think that's a be a good way to start my food day. You know, I'm, I'm very happy and excited for this crepe, guys. Like, you guys don't understand. So as I was saying about eating here, you know, you need to definitely be having your QR code ready. You need to have your COVID passport if you're not from Ontario, if you're not from Quebec, if you're outside the province. Other than that, it was quite simple. Sign in, put in my name for contact tracing. Hopefully there isn't nothing crazy going on. Okay, this place looks really good and you can either sit inside and outside. The way Quebec, especially Montreal, is doing their COVID checking is through the Cura app. If you're not a Quebec resident, you'll need to have a COVID vaccine paper. So I printed mine with me, but you need to have your COVID papers to let them know that you're vaccinated. I encourage everyone to get vaccinated, to be quite honest, especially if you want to eat in or eat out at this point. But I'm very excited. So I'm here sitting at a patio. It's a gorgeous patio. It's really nice, very friendly, very interesting neighborhood. I think I might go down the street and visit this clothing store. I saw some really cool t-shirts that I might get. I even saw I even saw a cool audio store, so I might go check out this audio store, audio store, and see if there are any cool gadgets that I might buy. But other than that, I'm very excited to be here, and I'm just waiting for my meal. So my food just arrived, and it looks good. I'm gonna show you guys some of the photos in this video. But before she even gave me that food, she actually lit it up in a little bowl and poured it over. Unfortunately, I was so amazed by it that I didn't be able to grab this photo. But it looks amazing. It looks delicious. Let's, let, let, let's see. Oh, look at this crepe. This looks like a really good crepe. Great way to start in the morning. Oh, it cuts nice and nice and flat. Look at this crepe looks. Looks really good. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. It's good. It's a good crepe. Very busy street though. There's lots going on right now in Montreal. The crepe is pretty good so far. It's like a nice light. Nothing too crazy. Gorgeous colors. Mm. You can definitely taste the alcohol. Mine had a gum on yay on it. Holy smokes. That will definitely wake you up in the morning. Let's, let's take a look at this coffee. coffee looks good. It's so busy. Next time I'm eating inside. <laughs> Very busy. But let's take a look at this coffee and I'm gonna take, take a photo for you guys. Such a beautiful cup. Yeah. 
Yeah. Perfect cup of coffee. This place, man, like, I would give this place definitely a 7 out of 10. It's good. Like, it's good. It's a good atmosphere. Very lovely place. They didn't blow me out of the water. Not really, but I think if you go here, you won't be disappointed. But the crepes are definitely a big size. Look, look at these colors, guys. Look at these colors on the crepes. Mm. Yeah. It's 7 out of 10, though. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to finish my eating my crepe. Then uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next time.